Hi, uh, this is Jason, and this is my daily vlog called Living with CMT. I hope you enjoy. Uh, just a quick heads up. I'm sitting in Costa at the moment, just waiting for a coffee. We came downtown earlier uh, just to get out for a couple of hours. It's a beautiful day. I cannot believe that it's the 10th of October. You're looking at probably 20 degrees, 21 degrees. Blue sky as far as the eye can see. Uh, yeah, as you noticed, I said I was going to have a shave, and I've had a shave. Um, I've, uh, we're not done a lot today. I posted my books back to um, my friend in West Sussex, Malady, my biggest fan at the moment. Um, I've signed them and sent them back. If anybody else buys my books and they want them signing, let me know. Just let me know and I'll sort some of it out for you so I can get them signed. So uh, that's it for now and I'll speak to you later. Okay? Bye. Evening, folks. Well, it's. Wednesday evening, I told you that I'll have a shave. Don't ask me what's happened to me hair, I seem to have turned into a unicorn. Um, but at least I've had a shave, look. I told you I would. Clean shaved, clean shaved, yeah. Mm. I won't be like this come start of November, mate, trust me. Once I start growing that uh, beard and tash, by the time I'm finished, I look like I've got my head on upside down by the end of the month. Anyway, as you can see from the previous earlier video and if you hear any strange noise in the background by the way that's my dog barking she keeps making weird noises for some reason I think I think my wife's tormenting her and playing with her or something anyway um yeah uh, as you can see from the earlier video we didn't do a lot today we've been downtown do a little bit more shopping um Deb's picked up some Christmas presents for me which I'm not allowed to show anybody so I'm not showing anybody um they're absolutely amazing anyway and you will see them you'll see them in my Christmas videos obviously afterwards I've had confirmation today that my geek box is on its way. What is up with my hair? Uh, yeah, I've had confirmation today my geek box is on its way. And I had a weird email off the other day, actually, to tell me that because I'm one of its loyal subscribers, they've upgraded me to the XL box for the same price, which I don't even know there was an XL box, so it's all completely new to me. Uh, yeah, while we're downtown, as you can see, we had have, we have a Costa. Um... I don't know what was up with me today, actually, because everything was positive today, but I was feeling really low. Um, I don't know what was causing it, you know, I don't know whether I had bad dreams and I can't remember them. I don't know whether I got out the wrong side of the bed, I just haven't got a clue, but I felt really, really low. Um, sort of, I think it's because, like I said before, when you recap your life, sometimes you look at parts of your life and you think, what would have happened if I hadn't have done that? Or maybe it would have been different if this hadn't have happened. I just think you get sometimes, you get a bit melancholy, you know. I think everybody does it. Uh, posted the books back today to my first and biggest fan at the moment, uh, Melody Woodman. Um, she sent the books to me directly from Amazon. I signed them and I've sent them back today. So she should get them by Friday, which I think will please her. Um, I posted something on my Facebook wall earlier just to try and get people to rate my books. If you've read them, that is. Obviously, don't rate them if you haven't read them. That's just weird. Uh, my poetry book's getting real, really good, you know, um, comments at the moment. People are loving my poems, which I'm glad of, because it is, it is the one gift I've got, is writing. I haven't got many gifts to offer the world, but that is definitely what I see as my gift. Uh, not really a long video today, but one thing I've just noticed in the news, it must be a recent thing, because I didn't notice it this morning, was that Apparently something happened where somebody sent somebody, I'm not sure if it was a text or something, and they accidentally spelt something. Instead of spelling woman, W-O-M-A-N, they spelt it W-O-M-X-N. And apparently uh, some, I don't know who it is, some woman, uh, buddy, feminist thing, I don't know what she is, said that that's how it should be spelt anyway, because if you spell it W-O-M-A-N, that means it came from the word man. Now, I think, I think that's taking it a bit far, do you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, all right, fair enough, I know some women don't like blokes, I can understand that, some blokes don't like women. But, you can't, how can I put it, you can't go through life changing everything that you do not like about society just to suit your ends. You can't, I'm sorry, but you can't. And what I'm pleased about, which I didn't think was going to be on there, is a lot of women have basically stood up and said, what a pile of B... X, double L, X, C, K, S. They basically taken the mickey out of it and said, this is ridiculous. You know, if women, if a woman's a woman, she's a woman. If a man's a man, he's a man. You can't be W, O, M, X, N, and you can't be M, X, N. 
Because they aren't even words. How would you even pronounce that anyway? Wumkson? Wimkerson? I mean, how would you pronounce it? Really? I can't work it out. I must have been. They said that it was to try and get equality so that women who are transgender or women who are... What was the other one? No gender at all can be accepted as W-O-M-X-N. And I'm like, no, no, that, that does not make sense at all. Because... If a woman's a woman, she's a woman. If a man's a man, he's a man. If somebody's transgender, they are transgender. They, they've already got names for these people. It's not like they've suddenly come out of the wild and the thicks of the you know, of the forest and suddenly said, we want to be called something. We know these people exist. We know exactly what they are, you know. Women are women, men are men, transgenders are transgender, asexuals are asexuals and so on and so forth. They've all got names already. Why would you want to give them another name? That's just emphasising the difference between them and us. And if you want to keep doing that, then you're going to make that gap even bigger rather than bringing it together, you know? Uh, on that subject, actually, I saw a story earlier, which I've been following for some time, actually. I didn't know it had been going on for four years then. Apparently a man, a homosexual man, went into a bar, not a bar, I'm going mental, a bakery in Ireland a couple of years back, and he asked for a cake with the message, support gay marriage on it or support same-sex marriage. It might have been support same-sex marriage. And this baker refused. At first he took his order, but then the head office said, no, we can't do that. Because they got religious beliefs, right? Anyway, this guy obviously took it the wrong way, and he ended up taking them to court, and it's cost hundreds of thousands of pounds, right? Anyway, it's been completely watched here today. Uh, they've said that they haven't got to... They've been found not guilty, basically. Because they're saying that if he refused to show uh, to serve him, you know, because he was gay, then they would have had to face a discrimination charge. But all they were refusing to do, they said they'd have done it for a heterosexual, a homosexual, it doesn't matter. They would still have refused to make a cake with the message on, um, uh, support same-sex marriage or support gay marriage or whatever it was. And I can understand that because my wife makes cards. And she's against swearing. And if somebody came up to her and said to her, can you make me a card with these words on for an 18-year-old lad? And basically, I want it to say, F off you, F in, see you. Yeah, we'll leave the rest, but you know what I'm saying. She would turn around and say, no, I'm not doing that. Because of her principles. And what she believes is right, you know, in herself. So, if she can, I mean, what that isn't, that isn't being... Um, uh, what's it? Not being prejudiced against the person asking for the card. That's being prejudiced for the message on the card, and that's the same thing with the cake. I can totally understand it. I mean, what's the difference between going into a bakery and saying, "Can you do me a lovely cake with a big swastika on it, a big Nazi symbol in the middle?" They'd probably turn around and say, "No, we can't do that. We can't do that, mate, for for what our reasons." And you couldn't turn around and say, "Well, that's being discriminating," because how is it discriminating? It isn't. They're just refusing. They, they are bakers, so they can refuse to make you a cake with what message you want on there if it is against what they believe in or against what they want to do. There's nothing that says they've got to make a cake with, swear, with swearing or with uh, same-sex marriage or swastikas or anything on it. They've got their beliefs and their ways, and that's it. You know? Um, I started... Uh, Sorting some more stuff out for me, um, live story last night, uh, because obviously I'd cornered, I've already cornered my childhood up to the age of about 13, 14. And also I put on there about me learning to play one of my favourite sports up until a couple of years ago. I used to be a big snooker fan, um, and I mean a big snooker fan. I started in 1983, I think it was 1983, I was 11, we went to Butlins Pathali, and we had a lovely holiday. But I was bored out my tree because the only thing I could find for me to do was slot machines. That's all I could find. Everything else just did not interest me until the end of the first week. I'd walked past this building a few times and I'd seen that it got like a snooker table on the outside and pictures of people playing and all that sort of thing. But I'd not gone in. But this one time I ventured in and I stood watching it for a minute and this guy come up to me. He was from behind the counter thing, red coat, blue coat, whatever you call him. He come up and he says... Would you like to have a game? And I said, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I haven't got much money. He says, you don't have to pay. I said, what? He says, you don't have to pay. He says, have you got your spare chalet key? I said, yeah. He said, that's all you have to do. Hand in your spare chalet key. They give you two cues, set of balls and a chalk, and you can play all day. 
That was it. The second week, my mum never saw me. She never saw me at all. I was literally in there from when it opened at about nine in the morning till when it shut about all past five at night. But in that time, I wasn't bothered about anything. I was just in there all the time. And uh, that love of uh, snooker stayed with me. And when I came back, I started taking it up properly. Now, the one thing about me, as I've grown up, as I've learned, is I was an absolute, and I mean absolute, terrible loser, right? I'm talking that if I went for a shot and it didn't go in, and then somebody beat me, I would slam my cue into the ground, I would roll the balls up the table, I would swear and curse, and I got really, really angry, right, doing this. Anyway, I played against this lad. Now, this lad was professional material. He could hit breaks of 100 and something. And I played him, and he beat me, fair and square, he beat me. And he says to me, he says, you know, you're a really good player. I said, thanks. He says, but it's a pity you'll get nowhere. I said, what the hell is that supposed to mean? He says, that's why you'll get nowhere. He says, your attitude, it stinks. I said, what do you mean, my attitude stinks? He says, you don't know how to lose. I said, why should I get a little bit? And I got all mouthy, because it was a bit of a mouthy swine back then. I tell you, when I was like 16, 17, I was terrible. I was right gobby, little shite. Anyway, I said to him, I said, what do you mean? I'm supposed to get used to losing. He says, no. He says, but... If you want to get used to winning, get used to losing first. He says, because if you can't accept losing, you will never, ever be able to play snooker. He said, because no way will you go through your entire career without losing a match. He says, it's impossible. It's like expecting a football team when every game from the minute they're founded and for years and years and years and years and years going on, it won't happen. And uh, I didn't realise what he meant at first. I was like, whatever, Pfft, don't get cheer up and all that. And he was dead right. He was dead right, it's something I've learned as I've gone through life, that you have to learn to lose before you can start to win. And I think it's the same with CMT. Over the years, I have lost so much ability of things that I used to do. I used to be an avid dart player. I had to give it up, I can't grip, I can't hold the dart. I can't hold the darts properly at all. They slide out my hands. And even if I could hold the darts, I can't balance on the hockey in order to throw the darts. So I used to have a darts cabinet on my wall, right next to me actually where I'm sitting. That had come down a couple of years ago, and it broke me heart to do that because I was a big darts fan. I took my cabinet down. I got rid of. It. I've got it still, still got it sitting upstairs, waiting to sell. If you know anybody who wants a dart board, full size dart board in a Budweiser cabinet with darts, mat, and everything, I was only asking forty quid for the lot. The dart board itself must be worth that, and the cabinet's worth about thirty as well. But uh, yeah, so I had to give that up. Now, my only thing was I carried on playing snooker because I liked snooker. I couldn't play it as often, but about 18 months ago, I got invited round the pub for a drink with my mate next door and his uh, brother-in-law. And um, I played. I had a couple of games of pool. And the next day, I couldn't hardly stand up. My back was absolutely in agony. Couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I had to hang up. Basically, hang up my snooker cue. I've had to stop playing snooker. Because I can't do it no more. It isn't worth me doing an hour of snooker to spend the next three days unable to move. I can't do it, you know. But that's the negative side. I've had to learn to do that. But since then, I've done more writing. I do jigsaws. I do time on my computer. I spend time with my wife. I watch a lot of TV. I fill the gap that that's left behind because that's left a massive gap. I'll tell you, when, I've, when I think of all the things that I've had to stop doing, if I actually let them rule my life, all the things I've stopped doing, I wouldn't be doing anything. But instead, as something's ended, I've started something else. You know? That's where my love of DC figures and all that sort of things come from. I didn't used to be into all DC figures. You know? But suddenly, I thought to myself, well, I've got a love of DC, actually. I've got graphic novels now, and I've got the figures, the action figures, and I've, I love the movies and all this. So, what I'm trying to say to you is, instead of focusing on what you cannot do with CMT, Give yourself something that you know you can do. And while you can still do it, great. You know, I mean, there'll come a time. I mean, I, I, I've said before when I'm writing, I want to write and write and write and write. But my fingers won't let me. After eight or nine pages, I've got to stop because I can't spell anything. My fingers are sliding off the keys. I'm deleting stuff left, right and centre. I'm getting angry at myself. So what I tend to do is say, right, stop. Save it. If I can't find my Dragon software, which is basically speech software I use sometimes, if I can't find that, leave it. Come back the next day and do another five or six pages. 
that way then you're staying positive that's my message today you all take care and bye for now i will do another video tomorrow if you're enjoying the videos i'm doing and you want to see more uh, you can subscribe by clicking the link there and if you want to see my exciting day from yesterday you can click up there thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos bye for now